Hi folks, we're here today to tell you a little bit about BorrowBox and how you can use it with your Apple Watch if you have one. Here we've got our iPhone and we've got BorrowBox installed on it and if you have that then you should be able to get it onto your Apple Watch as well. If you open up your Apple Watch and see the list of apps you have on it, you should be able to find the, the BorrowBox symbol on it. And there you can see it here. If you then select that, it opens up and it shows you currently what you have downloaded already on your BorrowBox account and how many items you've got of spaces you've got free. Here you can see that I've got Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone downloaded and I've got 27 days left to on my loan. I can return it or I can renew it. I can also swipe to the side and you get an explore tab which shows you new releases and you can borrow them straight from there by just clicking on the button like for instance if we want to download this one here click borrow successful you can also get different lists on here you can get uh, featured new releases top downloads new to library all, and all releases. The other fantastic feature about the Apple Watch version of BorrowBox is if you swipe to the side you can actually search using your microphone as well. If you tap that and then tap the microphone again you can search for anything. James Patterson It's now searching our catalogue to find out what James Patterson books is available on BorrowBox and it will bring you up the list and there you go and again you can either if it's out you can reserve it or if it's available you'll be able to click borrow and download it straight away. The other fantastic little feature that is on here which I find difficult to do with my finger but if you click the the, the microphone again and it's got scribble you can also tap that and in space here you can type or you can write um, whatever you want as well and I'll try and write James Patterson again Once you're done, click done, and again I will do the search and bring up the list of available titles or any of the titles that we have on BorrowBox. It's as simple as that, and if we go back to um, our iPhone and we open up BorrowBox, you will see that the title that I downloaded has now appeared in my BorrowBox app in my phone. I hope this has been useful guys so if you have found it useful please give it a like, leave a little comment and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so and thanks for watching.